today's story, I think there are some pictures for you to have a look at. And the pictures are of something that might be your favourite or might not be your favourite. They're pictures of food. And I want you to choose of the pictures which one would be the one that you would most like to eat. You have a look at the pictures and then come back and we'll talk about the story. Okay? So, there are two new pictures to look at, but they're part of the story. First picture is a family meal like we would have. You can see everybody's hands and you can see all the dishes. But the second picture is a family meal that they would have had. They're still eating like this, but it's the same sort of food that they would have had in Jesus' time. Now, there are lots and lots of dishes, so that takes quite a lot of preparation. And that's a little bit of what the story is about today. Now, the story today is a very small story in the Bible and it might not look very important. And at the time, people might not have thought it was terribly important at all. But you know, this story is told three separate times in the Bible. And that kind of shows that it is very important in Jesus' story. Now, the story begins with Jesus in the synagogue. Do you remember the synagogue is a special church that they used to have in Jesus' time, where people used to go and sit and learn about the holy teachings and special rabbis would explain it to everybody and they would talk for a long time, learning about what it was exactly that God had told them in the past. Well, Jesus was in there and that's what he was doing. He was talking to lots of people and he had been doing that all day. And then it was time to go home. Now, you'll remember that Jesus has some very special friends. One of his special friends was a man called Simon. And Simon said, let's go home to my house. Now, in those days, you couldn't just bring up for a pizza or something like that or go off to McDonald's and get a burger oh no you would have to know to let someone know at home that they were going to have guests and you would have to prepare a meal like that one in that picture and so that's what Simon had done he had let people at home know that he was bringing Jesus a special friend and some others to the house so off they said so you can imagine in the house the women in the house would be working flat out to make a lovely meal for their special guest. So you can imagine that when they arrived at the house, everybody was expecting everything to be set out and that everybody would be waiting for Jesus and his friends to arrive. But you see, that's not what happened when Jesus arrived at Simon's house. Because what did happen is that Simon's mother-in-law, his wife's mum, wasn't well. She was upstairs, everybody said, with a very high fever. Now, it doesn't say that Simon Peter's mother-in-law was really sick. It doesn't say, like Jairus' daughter, that she had died. It doesn't say, like the centurion slave, that she was so ill that she was paralysed. It just says she was upstairs in bed with a fever. Now, there's two things about that. One of them is that that means that she hadn't been able to help out to make the meals. So everybody else would have been rushing about. But the second thing is that she was up there on her own when a really special guest was coming. Now, I wonder how you would feel if you'd been really looking forward to seeing someone and then you got a bit sick and you couldn't get up and you couldn't come and see them. You'd be dreadfully disappointed, wouldn't you? So... What do you think happened? Well, we know Jesus well enough to know that Jesus really does care about everyone, even the smallest things. And funnily enough, even the people that many others would think weren't really important, Jesus knew that they were really important. Everyone is really important to Jesus. Nobody's a nobody. So he went upstairs and he sat down 
And he looked at Simon's mother-in-law and said, I'm so sorry you're not well, but you're well now. Do you know what? That fever left that lovely lady and she sat up. She felt so well that she was able to come back downstairs and help serve out the meal. So in the end, she was in the middle of all the excitement. And you know what? Simon wasn't just any old friend of Jesus. Simon was about to leave and go traveling with Jesus. And in a way, that meal that Simon took Jesus to was maybe one of the last meals that he was able to have with his family. And how sad it would have been for Simon's mother-in-law if she had missed that last meal, that last wee celebration of them all together. And so this little story might seem just a small story about just a woman and just a little bit not well, but it's really important because it shows that Jesus cares about everything in our day, the big, big things and the little, little things. And just like we sang last week and this week, God is the God of the big and the little. There is nothing too incy-wincy for him to care about. And so we'll leave Jesus and his friends having that last celebration meal and Simon's mother bustling about making sure that everybody has enough to eat and enough to drink and they're having a good time. And then I think we'll say a little prayer. Shall we pray together? Let's close our eyes and we'll talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you that you're with us every day, all day, that you're watching over us for the little things, the big things, all the things in our days. We thank you that you care for us, that you care for the rest of our families, and that you care for our friends. Help us to be caring too, to those who need our love, Help us to go out and make sure that we take care of people who need help. Help us from day to day in all things. Amen. See you next week.